Hey guys, it's Nixon again from Zip Scanners. Today I wanted to talk about the BCD 436. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get access to your SD card and swap it out. Also going to show you how to get your new SD card up and running. Uh, this would apply to people who own a 436 and want to buy programming from us. So here we go. First thing I'll do is open the back. I have batteries in there already. If you have those as well, take them out. <clears throat> and what you'll notice is the SD card lies right here. Uh, you want to be extremely careful here. Um, people have broken this latch many times. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to take that out and carefully. So to unlock, you just push it this direction to the right. Once you make that clicking sound, it'll pop up, as you can see. You can carefully remove it. You don't want to be jamming things in, in uh, so be take, take your time, be very careful. I'm going to swap it out with a different SD card here. I'm going to make sure this is up and not facing down like this, so make sure it's sticking up. We're going to gently this side up slide in in there nice and gentle and they have these two grooves here on the top and at the bottom just make sure the SD is inside that take your time gently push it down and you're gonna slide this silver latch over here to the left to lock it it'll make a little clicking sound and there you have it nice and easy uh, you don't have to use these batteries, but <clears throat> I don't want to use the cord today, so I'm just going to I'm just going to utilize these batteries. Now I'm going to show you how to access your scan list. Turn on the scanner. It's going to say nothing to scan mode, nothing to scan. Uh, the way we get it to start scanning is hit the menu button right here and set scan selection is what we'll do so we'll hit enter and you're gonna go down to where it says select list to monitor hit enter and you'll notice I have uh, a, a count here programmed it's currently set to off we want to turn that on so we'll hit enter once that is on, all you need to do is go back by hitting the menu button to start scanning. We'll hit that a couple times, and there you go. And that's how you load up a new programmed SD card, if you've, especially if you've purchased one from us. It's going to start doing its thing, start scanning. So, um, that is a quick tutorial on how to uh, swap out your SD cards on your 436 and carefully do it too. I don't want anyone breaking their 436 latch here in the back. Um, there you have it. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please click the like button below. And be sure to check us out at zipscanners.com for all your scanner needs. We provide fantastic customer service, free shipping, programming for your scanner, and a helpful learning center with more videos just like these. Thanks again. Bye-bye.